It's summertime and what better way to enjoy some rest and relaxation than with a good book. Need some help choosing your summer read? Well, reporter Molly Perlman gives us some great options. It's not every day that a band, balloon animals, and voices over a whisper are allowed in the library, especially on a Sunday when the doors are usually closed. This Sunday, however, the library opened their doors to host their 11th annual author fair. One of the librarians explained how it's a great chance to meet the authors of some of your favorite books. It's a great opportunity for the community to come to the library and to actually meet authors because most people don't get to do that. Um, they read their books, but they, they never know the person behind the book. This attendee not only came to support her friend, who is one of the authors here, but also to gain some inspiration. Well, I'm on a slightly different path, but um, I'm, I'm actually a chef, so I will eventually write a cookbook, so it's sort of, I'd like to be a public chef one day. It may be surprising to find out that many of the authors here did not become writing professionals overnight. Rather, they knew in order to achieve their goals, it would take some hard work and determination. Brett Battles, a thriller author, says he wanted to be a writer since he was 12 years old, but held a whole different career for 20 years while working towards his ultimate goal of becoming a published author. It's, you know, it's, it's just perseverance, I think, is how I, I, I got there and just kept kept going because if I there were many times I could have just said this isn't going to work and I'm never going to uh, to reach the goal and I might as well give up now but I didn't. The participating authors covered various genres such as crime novel, young adult, thriller, cooking, and children's books just to name a few. For the authors the chance to sign some books for their fans was quite a humbling experience. It doesn't get old, you know. The first time you sign a book, it's, I'm an author, I'm signing a book, but it never gets old. It's still fun. I'm too new at this for it to be old yet. I'm enjoying it. I mean, maybe, you know, ask me that next year maybe with the second book, but, but right now, no, it's great. I even got my very own book signed by a former Los Angeles Times crime reporter. While the writers were here to meet fans, they were also here to give you a sneak peek on their latest books. The book is set in modern China around the contemporary art scene. It deals with a young American who is an accidental Iraq war vet named Ellie Cooper who finds herself adrift in Beijing and uh, gets herself involved with uh, the wrong group of people. This is my first book, The Wind at Work, A History of Wind Energy because I'm interested in renewables and environmental projects. While the adults enjoyed talking about books, the kids lined up for balloons. Tell us what you have. Is that a balloon? <laughs> Getting your kids passionate about reading can become a fun family affair. When the Lord of the Rings movies were coming out, the mayor saw it as an opportunity to bond with his son. We actually took The Hobbit and The Lord of the Rings trilogy and we read it aloud all the way through. So it was about 1,300 pages and um, it took us 14 months to do it and it was one of the coolest experiences I've had as a father. There were two author panels this year, one focusing on cooking, while the other was a bit spookier, covering paranormal activity. The books uh, are about Nathaniel Cade, who is a vampire who works for the President of the United States. This event also gave people the chance to find out the source of inspiration behind some of these books. My mother was sick with cancer at the time and ultimately passed away, which was a, a big tragedy in the title. So I guess this idea came from my own desire to explore how do you get back into the world and start living life again. This year was the greatest turnout for authors. Over 35 showed up to sign books, participate in the panels, and to speak with more than 625 fans who stopped by. While the library offers a wide range of programs for all ages, here are a few new ones. This year we're going to start offering e-reader classes. So if you have a Nook or a, a Sony Reader or a netbook or something, of your phone that you're reading the book on, we're going to show you how to use those if you don't know already. The summer reading program has also officially started, so stop by the library to find out how to join and earn some great prizes. The program's goal is to promote the love of reading. It, the earlier you start, the, the studies show that um, the better you do in school. 
Well, after looking at all of the books here, I finally selected my summer reading. And the best part is, I got it signed by the author. All I need is my sunglasses and beach towel, and I'm set for the beach. For El Segundo TV, I'm Molly Perlman.